Hey, I'm back. Uh, it's been a little while since the last video. Um, I think the last one was the Halloween one. Life is just getting in the way. I'm working full time now. Now I'm back. I managed to land a job converting camper vans, um, surprisingly enough. So I've been there for three weeks now, um, settling in there quite well. Uh, in response to everyone asking about how the van's gearbox is, not good. It was going okay and now it's not. Um, yeah, it's really not. I have no reverse at all. One day it drives fine. I get all the gears, I get reverse, it's bang on. The next day you'll get to fourth gear, it'll crunch. Fifth gear has just gone on holiday and it'll just try and jump into six. And by the time it does that, you've lost all your momentum and you've just kind of near enough stopped on a motorway. The van's actually due to go to a gearbox specialist um, whenever I can afford it. <laughs> So yeah, that size not good. And then there's settling back into the UK and all of the joys that are there. I mean, I've really come back at a bad time with all this Brexit and everything. And I mean, what is it with the price of fuel? But anyway, um, so this is the video showing the changes to the bed. Um, it's a little bit out of date now. I mean, the bed is done and has been for a while. Um, but yeah, I'll take you through what I did with the bed. And then hopefully, if I can find time in my busy schedule now, I can um, get the rest of the videos out and kind of catch back up and show you guys what's been going on with the van. And then by that point, the van will have probably gone to the gearbox specialist and I won't have it for a bit. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. beds needed some changes for quite some time and now that the water tank had been removed from underneath it seemed like the perfect time to do it. The wardrobe to the left of the sofa was pretty pointless. I never really used it and it was just wasted space. The pull out on the front of the bed uh, had started to wear and it was starting to get stuck and really caused me some problems so that needed some attention too. And once it was a bed it was never quite long enough. Despite being a bit of a short ass, I could never really fully stretch. Uh, my feet always went into the wardrobe so it made sense to get rid of the wardrobe wasn't being used and extend the bed full width and the rest of the wardrobe that dropped down to the floor would be doored and that would be my new bedding storage area freeing up underneath the bed even further so alongside moving the water tank and redoing the floor i was also changing the bed i know right busy boy first things first the bed was stripped out completely it's not coming apart as easy as i thought it was going to so it'd be a few screws and I'd be able to take the whole lot out solid. But I didn't build it that way. Um, so it's coming apart in in bits. One bit I need out as well. The rest of the bed's stuck with this on. Let's take this out. Oh. This was around the time I was dealing with the first load of gearbox problems. I was a bit short tempered and in a bad mood. Can you tell? Next up was taking the wardrobe apart. Not a huge task, I'm not going to lie, it consisted of this one bar. But after that, the partition that separated the wardrobe from the cupboard next to it needed removing to extend the bed fully. It was quite a hard area to get into with, say, a jigsaw, and a jigsaw would have made a pretty big mess. Uh, but luckily, my dad had this multi tool, I think it's called amazing tool you can fit loads of different attachments into it and it really did the job cut through the wood and the aluminium without even breaking a sweat Ooh. now that goes so this would be the new shelf that will fill up the top half of the wardrobe um, it's been used out of stuff I've had left over from the bed, so that's why it's covered in paint and doesn't look particularly pretty. Um, but everything in this van is made out of aluminium. All the all the furniture is aluminium. Annoyingly, I binned loads of it when I built the van, 
Um, didn't think I was going to need it again. You just can't get hold of this stuff. I think it's like custom molded to the for the ambulance uh, manufacturer. So I've gone out and bought a bit of this aluminium uh, owl shape. And what I'm going to do is cut that just to sit over there. And it sits pretty much perfectly there. And then it will kind of match the rest of the van. I mean, this cost me three quid. This is free. And the hinges and stuff, I've, I've got loads of spare hinges and clasps. So all in all, putting this uh, cupboard back in has cost me three quid. Okay, so half the bed's back in. I'm just doing a little bit of modification on this area just to make it work a little bit better. It used to get stuck a bit. Uh, and also, now that I've took the floor out, um, the, every, the height of everything has changed. So I'm having to like drop everything down, recut bits, add bit. What, what are you doing? Uh, lost some trail of thought now. You're what a asshole you are. Everything's dropping about 20 mil. So that means like the frame on the wall, all the holes don't line up for that anymore. The log burner plinth needed a, a, a bit put underneath it to prop it up. Just little odds and sods like that. It's not the end of the world. It's not a massive amount of work to, to redo it. Um, just it's not going as straightforward as just plonking it all back in. One of the um, screws got stuck in the floor when I was taking the bed out and that snapped this section that used to go there. So I'm replacing this at the minute, going for a slightly thicker bit. I'm changing the this, this design of the front of the bed. And um, yeah, just a few little mods here and there as I'm putting it back together so that it'll just work a little bit better. Now where the um, water tank used to be, uh, I'm 50-50 I'm on whether to either do a pull-out drawer for my dirty washing or a little dog hatch, take this out and make a little dog hatch and put Lance's bed in there so he's got his own little private area. I mean, it's not massive under there, but he quite likes to tuck away in, the, in little corners uh, to go to sleep. Um, while it's been out as a frame, he's been getting all under there, dead curious as to what's under there, so he quite likes it. Well, I think that's settled it. <laughs> okay, dog bed it is. bed coming along it was time to move on to the wardrobe. Right, when I cut this section out the blade from the cutter did kind of make a bit of a mess of the, of the black down here. All it was it was vinyl. All these cupboards everything is wrapped in matte black vinyl. When you do damage it like when I did there or I've done a couple of the doors now you just get some more vinyl. I've had this in the van for ages and um, do it again. Now you are supposed to use a proper tool and wet it a little bit underneath. I've wet it a little bit underneath with that rag, but um, I can't find my squeegee, so I'm just going in by hand. And the whole reason you wet it is so it doesn't just stick straight down. You can sort of manipulate it a little bit. Where's my knife? Yeah, I'm not going for absolute perfection here because all this is getting covered in a big cushion anyway. Um, so I'm not too bothered if it's not absolutely bang on. Like the doors, I spent ages on the doors. Made sure that got done. Lance's dog hairs. Yeah, I spent ages on the doors, made sure they were done really well. Under here. Nah. Yeah, it might be worth using a knife blade that hasn't been used on a building site. Fold this over here so it just kind of blends into the, the underside. Perfect, but it's better than it was. Now I can cut my cushion that's going to slot in there. Yeah. 
bolt will go on there. Like that. Fortunately, when I got this uh, sofa set, there was a few bits left over. I've got completely matching cushions that will blend in and won't look out of place. Oh, look at that. Made for it. Lengthwise, anyway. Got to cut it down a lot. That's my 25mm line. I'm going to mark that properly in a second. But what I need to do is probably cut to about here. I'll have a bit of leftover material to wrap and re sew. I did cut down the sofa, uh, and my sewing was <laughs> not great. So, yeah, it's, it's probably going to look a bit tatty. Yeah, noise is horrible. Probably painstakingly obvious now, Lance is going for a seal of approval. Um, I'm not an upholsterer either, so it's not perfect, it's far from it. That's the length cut and the excess cut off. I've now got to cut it down the middle so that it only sticks up. Ninety mil. I'd love to know what they use in upholstery firms to cut the foam because since recording this, I started my new job. Uh, they use an upholsterer that is absolutely amazing and quite reasonable. So I'm either going to get him to sew all these, uh, including the existing ones, or go for a whole new set of foams. I'm not sure yet. With the gearbox issue, it might have to wait a while. There we go. I can lie down full width. I've got, I've got room to spare. Oh, this is great. Oh, no, no, no. Don't dribble on me. Do not dribble on me. Ah. Oh. Not much for me. It's just that little bit just for my feet, but it makes all the difference. Just being able to. Ha <laughs> ha.